A father <coughs> loves to dwell with his people. And God loves to dwell amidst his people. That was always his desire. And he can only abide where he is known. And where he is known, he manifests himself in so many ways. Through the eyes of the Spirit, we understand, we perceive, and we acknowledge him in our lives. And all that we are is because of him. To him give all the glory, and not to another. In Romans it tells us we see those that had the witness of his eternal power and Godhead in his works of creation which were all about them were blinded and darkened in their minds professing themselves to be wise they became foolish and ended by being engulfed in all manner of idolatry and abominable lusts and this is what can happen to any person If we're to know God, it must be on the basis of his revelation to us, according to his nature and his purpose, which is true and righteous. We've come to understand that his eternal qualities, in which we portray in our lives, are justice, mercy, compassion, which every human needs in our lives all the way through their lives we need those things to be able to make progress and this is our the whole purpose of, of us being here on earth to make progress in these ways to become complete to become the fullness and to become Christ-like this is father's desire for all of humankind so he can dwell with his creation And therefore, dealing with sinful, guilty man, he must reveal himself as supremely righteous and holy, a God of justice. For without him, there's only darkness and separation. And no hope. The light that is manifested to all shines out in all. The mercy of God is revealed in Christ Jesus. So with all confidence in in our in, in all that we proclaim, speak and tell of the glory of God amongst all that are separated from knowing the creator of all things the veil upon of, of which is upon most people but his purpose doesn't change is to dwell with all his creation he who is in all through all and in all this is the power of the eternal gospel about Christ because he reconciles, he regenerates and restores all things through himself. The future is bright in Christ. The future is eternal. And the darkness that we see being cast out or cast upon us is all counterfeit light. It's only darkness. It will be here today and gone tomorrow. But the light is here to stay forever. The true light of Christ. And on that rock we stand. And cannot be shifted. All fear is cast aside. Whatever, whatever is shown to us in the darkness of by the world. It has no effect 
on the sons and daughters. But many bathe in fear. But the sons and daughters march on towards victory unabated because their confidence is in Christ to the glory of the Father. And like legions of ants marching as one, holding up the Messiah who saves the world. Come you people is our cry to others. Come and let us see that God is good. Let's go up to the mountain of God and praise his name forever. The march towards the Father is, grows and grows. The drip of living water turn into flowing river for the healing of the nations. I say, come, come you people, each and every one of us. Turn your attention to the creator of heaven and earth. And you will find life and healing and joy. for eternity.